in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning to you dear brothers and sisters. Let me bless your day with this gospel meditation. Today we celebrate the Monday in the Holy Week. First reading for today's Holy Mass is taken from the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 7. And the gospel is taken from the gospel of St. John chapter 12 verses 1 to 11. Have you ever experienced real love from someone or have you given real love to someone? In the present world, the real love is a rare thing to find. Love is basically self-centered and it does not care for the other. Real love is foregoing one's own for the betterment of someone else. It is for me to decrease so that someone may increase. Have you come across the love that knows no bounds? Once Jesus was at table with his beloved friends and disciples. A woman called Mary came to the presence of Jesus and his disciples and did something which only love can do. She took the most precious thing she had and spent it all on Jesus. Her love was not calculated but extravagant. Mary's action was motivated by one thing. and one thing only namely her love for Jesus and her gratitude for God's mercy she did something however a jewish woman would never do in public she loosed her hair and anointed Jesus with her tears it was customary for a woman on her wedding day to bind her hair for a married woman to loose her hair in public was a sign of grave immodesty She took no thought for what others would think but what would please her lord in humility she stood to anoint jesus feet and to dry them with her hair how do you anoint the lord's feet and show him your love and gratitude in the gospel passage we read the whole house was filled with the perfume of the ointment What Mary had done brought sweetness not only in the physical sense but in the spiritual sense as well. Her lovely deed shows the extravagance of love, a love that we cannot outmatch. The Lord Jesus showed us the extravagance of his love in giving the best he had by pouring out his own blood for our sake and by anointing us with his holy spirit. The apostle Saint Paul says that nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Do you allow the love of Christ to rule in your thoughts and intentions and in all your words and deeds? Judas viewed the act of Mary as extravagant wastefulness because of greed. A person views things according to his attitude and disposition. Judas thought evil in his heart and the act of Mary was just waste of money. Judas was an embittered man and had a warped sense of what was precious and valuable especially to God. Jesus had put Judas in charge of their common purse no doubt because he was gifted in financial matters. The greatest temptation we can face will often come in the area of our greatest strength or gifting judas used the money entrusted to him for wrong and hurtful purposes he allowed greed and personal gain to corrupt his heart and to warp his view of things he was critical towards mary because he imputed unworthy motives Do you examine your heart correctly when you impute wrong or unworthy motives towards others? Mary knew her spiritual situation and prepared herself for her personal conversion by giving herself totally at the feet of Jesus. She knew the real happiness can be found at the feet of Jesus. Like a child, let us be in the hands of Jesus. 
craving for his love and his presence. And I pray, may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.